Well, welcome to April Grizzlies. We're back at the Blind Pig at 12th and Lynn in Quincy. We've got two new beers for you this month. Let's get things uh, underway with the uh, Smutty Nose Brewing Old Old Brown Dog Ale. Now, this is, uh, what were you calling it, Sean? An English ale that uh, needs to be at a particular temperature? Well, I mean, it's an ale. It's, it's a little bit more robust and full-bodied, and so they'll typically store it at English cellar temperature, which is about 57 degrees. You don't want to buy into all that mass marketed hype where you want your beer as cold as humanly possible, right? Just a Kelvin above freezing. No, that's not how you drink it. This is about right. Jeremy pours one for you. One of his elite staff here at the Pig will pour one for you. Give it a little chance to breathe. Come to room temperature. Maybe give it to Mr. Miyagi and then hold the glass and it's going to be better for you. Yeah, that's one way to do it, I guess. But <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a brown ale. Uh, they call it American brown ale, but yeah, it's an, it's an English style. Um, it comes from you know English brown ales, and yeah, Smutty Nose is out of New Hampshire. Um, they're one of the again up and coming you know craft breweries. Um, there's several several different ones you can buy here in town. What's the definition of up and coming? Didn't they win like a beer medal in the '80s? Yeah, but you know it's up and coming in this area, I suppose, <laughs> because <laughs> I guess it's just now catching on around here. Um, it's kind of new to the area, but um, the the old brown dog is one of my favorites from Smutty Nose. It's it's got a hint of like a chocolate taste almost, but um, yeah, I mean, it's just a great beer. And it's not something you're going to sit down and power through like four or five. Hmm. It's something that's going to stand up on its own. You don't need to pair it with food. It's something that will uh, just kind of be there before or after dinner when you get to it. Um, if you like Newcastle, that would be, I guess, the, the English counterpart to this, although this does have different notes to it than a, a Newcastle does. Mm -hmm. Come on in and try it. It's the uh, old... Uh, Brown Dog Ale from Smutty Nose, one of this month's uh, beers of the month at the Blind Pig. On tap for how much? Four bucks a pint. I'm getting it. Twelfth and Lynn, the Blind Pig with Jeremy. The next beer we've got on the uh, beers of the month here at the Blind Pig Grizzlies is something that uh, Sean and I have been waiting for for months now. Literally months. When we conceived this series, it was just to have this. This goes back <laughs> sorry, years yeah, sorry. for the two of us. Uh, there's a lot going on with this, this special old Rasputin Russian Imperial Stout. Now this is a man stout. This is not for you guys to handle a stout. You, mm, this is the old Rasputin never say die. I got a story about Sean and the old Rasputin <laughs> that goes back over a decade. We'll get to that in a minute. Sean, you just poured yours going on over there? It's a Russian Imperial style ale. Think about high alcohol content. Uh, it's robust and it's creamy too. It's not going to scorch you on the way down, Jeremy. It's something that is surprising the first time you have it because, man, you're thinking this is almost going to be like a beer mixed with a bourbon, but it's really creamy when it goes down. Yeah, I mean, you're hit it on the head. It's it's a man stout, but it, it really is kind of smooth. You, you see that it's 9% alcohol by volume and that kind of scares you a little bit but you start drinking it and it, it, it goes down quite smooth it's another one that you're not gonna you're not gonna chug three or four you shouldn't anyway you never know but uh, but it does it's got a great taste it's made by a north coast brewing which is out of colorado or uh, california excuse me mm -hmm. but uh yeah it's a it's a delicious beer i believe it's made and bottled at fort bragg in california this is a very special uh, uh, beverage uh, right here. I'm going to have it now. You've got We've got the bottles here. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned that maybe you're going to get this on tap. I'm working on getting it on tap. He thinks he can get it for me. Uh, oh. If not, we'll definitely have it in the bottles, um, you know, like we have for the past month or so. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're trying to get it on tap, which, which will be great. No matter which way you have it, beer of the month price is going to be? It, it'll be $4. Yeah, and that is a bargain. It is, really. You go <laughs> pick up a four-pack of these out on the open market, you're going to be paying almost $4 a piece for it just to take it home. You can have it here uh, at the Blind Pig, and Jeremy will talk beer with you the whole time you're here. All right, the story. First time, this is true. First, <laughs> I mean, got it. First time, <laughs> first time I had one of these, uh, there was a particular beer store, and this was 12, 15 years ago. We used to make beer runs for specific beers because they weren't just at the, you know, neighborhood tavern. Or we didn't have Jeremy. Yes, we right. didn't have Jeremy 15 <laughs> years ago, so you had to, we had to drive three hours to get stuff like this. Brought one home. This guy on the other end of the table had a particularly bad night at a basketball game. Came back at the station we were at, uh, Station A, years ago, and decided to pound one of these in the parking lot mid-January. Right out of the bottle. Right out of the bottle. <laughs> I'm, like, looking at him. <laughs> 
Yeah, I just kind of tore the lid off. I knew he had handed me a beer, and uh, Quake could tell from my disposition that it had been an exceptionally bad day. So I just ripped the lid off and started chugging it. Mm. That is not. And it was it was delicious, but you should slow down and give not it the way to enjoy it. Yeah. Not how you want to do this. And at the end of it, he even said, "Wow, that was really good." And I'm like, "What did you just do?" <laughs> Never say die. Washed away my bad day. That's what you look for the old Rasputin right on the front. The Mad Monk. That's yeah. what you want. Yeah. Nostradamus right on the front there. Uh, if you get up close with the picture, you can see the bullet holes yeah. from the Mad Monk. That <laughs> right. Right. That's too. right. And you might feel like this will plug the bullet holes, too. Jeremy, why did you pick this one? Uh, it's just, it, like I said, it's one we've had for a month in bottles, and you guys, obviously, when you found out I had it, were uh, <laughs> super excited. We strong-armed him. So, yeah, so I talked to them, and, uh, and they, they're trying to get it on tap for us. They're not sure they can do it, but regardless, like I said, we'll have it in bottles, but hopefully within the next week we'll have it on tap. The Blind Pig Beers of the Month, the Old Rasputin, and from Smutty Nose, the Old Brown old Dog. Old Brown Dog, yeah. Four bucks. Come on down and get it. They're the Beers of the Month at the Blind Pig, 12th and Lynn in Quincy.